Hello, crochet friends. Welcome back. Working on our mitten. Let's get this finished up today. How did you do? Did your cuff come out okay? Nice and consistent on your stitches? I'm hoping so. Okay, I still have my hook in here and I ended at the top of the cuff. So hopefully you have also, because I didn't want to go back down. I didn't have any more stitches to join into on the mitten part. So we want to turn it inside out. And I don't think you have to turn it completely inside out. I have all these tails to tuck in, look at this. As long as you can turn it enough that you can kind of get the back side here of these stitches, right? Okay, so let's get our hook back in there and we are gonna join these together. Alrighty, so we want them to be even on both sides. So line yourself up really good here. Remember this was a chain, so we're working into a chain and it's a little tricky trying to find spots. Um, just try to line them up the very best you can. They might not be exact and that is okay as long as we have the um, same stitches on the other side. So, okay. One, two, three, four, five. That looks good. Okay. Make sure I got everybody over there. Okay. So, I'm going to go in this chain side right at the top near the first one there. Go right in this stitch right here, yarn over and pull through, and pull through again for a slip stitch. All right. I'm trying, I'm sorry. I'm trying to line them up here. Woo. Okay, how are we doing? Let's go in this chain side. Right, yep, right here, that's where I wanna go. There we go. And the stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Pull through again, just like we did with the other one, right? Making sure we're grabbing each piece. We don't want to have any gaps in it, that's all, okay? All right. I know it's a little tricky, a little fumbly, but we'll get there, won't we? All righty. The next one, okay, keep going until you get down to the end there. Here we go. Okay, that's my last one. I'm gonna pull this up and cut it off. Ooh, how did you do? Everybody do okay? Let's knot this right here where we are. Then we wanna tuck in all these tails. So I have a lot of tails. My yarn, um, they were very short little bunches of it. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what you would call them. It comes in this big thing of it and then they separate into these small pieces which are tied together and I, I like this yarn a lot but not a lot see how there's not a lot there so I had to keep tying them together which is okay but it just means that I'm gonna have a lot of tails to tuck in here right okay so we're gonna start with just tuck this tail in of what we just did here of our seam okay so make sure all your tails are tucked in nice nice and neat because now we are at our finished product here so we want it to look good, even though it is on the inside, right? We still want it to look nice. And being where your hand's gonna keep going in and out, I would want, I, I like to make sure that it's good and secure. Like I keep going over it a few times. You can see that I'm like probably a little over the top with it, but I feel like it's better that way. So I need to tuck in all these other ones too, but let me, let me turn it right side out. Okay, let's take a look. So this is the back with the seam, right? And so this is your front. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. Um, I'm hoping you can see the whole thing in the picture. There we go. So mine is just plain Jane Gray. I know it's kind of boring looking, but the person I'm giving it to is not into big vibrant colors like I am. So um, I think this will be much better. So, but this is what I wanted to talk about. So when you get it done, if you changed your cuff colors or maybe you did stripes or whatever, 
I mean, you do you, but you can also embellish it. I have a pattern on here where I made these little vintage hearts, which I thought were so cute. Something like that appliqued on it would be really cute. Like if this was a Valentine, or maybe you want to embroider Mr. and Mrs. or whatever. I mean, even people's initials, anything would be super cute. Um, you could embroider a heart on it, um, but any sort of applique if you wanted, or maybe a bunch of little hearts or something, just ideas to throw it out there um, to give everyone a little bit of suggestions. But this is the hand-holding mitten or the smitten mitten. I've seen so many variations of what it's called. I like this because I like the little gap here, um, the way that it gives you a little extra space. So if you have one person with bigger hands, it kind of works out better, I, I think. But that's, I mean, that's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you like this one. If you do, give us a like and subscribe so you can get other projects as they come out. And I enjoyed being on this journey with you as always. And I will see you next time. Thank you and have a joyful day.